Many see the Terminator for one of its core elements of human versus machine. I view the first Terminator film as the ultimate cat and mouse game. Between the Terminator and Sarah Connor. Are you saying it's from the future? This is a true testament to the power of storytelling, character development, and cinema. I'll be back. I have found Terminator 2 to get more praise than the first, which is fair enough, but in this video, let's look at Sarah Connor's relentless encounter with the Terminator, taking her through a remarkable transformation from a waitress to a fierce survivor. It's driving me crazy. Sarah Connor's introduced to us as an ordinary young woman leading a mundane life. Her primary concerns revolve around her job, her roommate, and her plans for her future. Once the Terminator arrives, a ruthless and virtually unstoppable cyborg assassin, the cat and mouse game is on. Sarah avoids coming home, where the Terminator goes, killing her roommate and roommate's boyfriend, killing off major support for anything important. Although she is not aware of this now, this does weaken her. Sarah, in time, faces off with the Terminator in an LA nightclub. This is their first encounter. <laughs> but in the nick of time comes Kyle Reese, a soldier from the future sent to protect her for guidance and support. Come with me if you want to live. He arrives not knowing what year it is. What year? And also not knowing what the Terminator looks like until they make their moves against Sarah. His confidence lacks in knowing he can stop the Terminator. Can you stop it? I don't know. He does help grow her resilience as she is forced to confront the reality of the situation and accept the guidance. This helps grow her strengths by at least knowing what this is and why they're after her. This is what sets up the goal of outsmarting or destroying it. Without achieving this goal, there's no John Connor in the future. Without John Connor, there's no central leader for the human resistance. And without the human resistance, the future will be dominated by machines. Following an intense car chase between the Terminator in a hijacked police car, Kyle and Sarah obviously in another stolen car, and they escape pursuit. I ditched this car. But through the police radio in the hijacked police car, Followed up with custody at the police station. Sarah, this is Dr. Silverman. But as they explain the Terminator and Kyle is from the future, it's unbelievable by anyone, putting Sarah to a weak point again. If you do technology, you go naked. And then, the Terminator does eventually catch up. But this time, although the police cannot stop the Terminator, it helps stop the Terminator from catching them. Sarah! As they get out of there and get to the motel, Kyle teaches Sarah how to build homemade pipe bombs. But the Terminator has found them once again, using the perfect voice mimicking ability. I love you too, sweetheart. They flee for what is one of the big chase sequences. As there is shootings amidst this car chase, Kyle is shot at and wounded. When she knocks the Terminator over on the bike, it flips the truck and weakness extends. Whilst the Terminator does then hijack a tank truck, thanks to Kyle, leading them to... Not quite the victory they'd hoped for. As the durable metal endoskeleton evolves, the monstrous cyborg isn't finished yet. the last pipe bombs used. Although her willingness to fight and adapt to her circumstances is inspiring, 
the emotional toll of the relentless pursuit has taken a toll on her psyche. This puts Sarah to her weakest point, only just holding herself together. This is the closest they've been in the whole cat and mouse game. Victory is Sarah's. It's safe to say the Terminator takes audiences on a roller coaster ride of suspense, fear, and triumph. As we continue to explore the Terminator series, it's clear this iconic chase laid the groundwork, which launched a franchise that continues to captivate audiences. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more about conflict, please check out one of my previous videos. And let's hope 2029 does not look like what Kyle Reese said. Scriptmate, fade out.